hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so today we're going to be doing the zero to a hundred transformation going out edition i'd say because i know there's a lot of different types that you can do like going to a club going just overall changing your whole entire appearance and all of that so i'm just going to do the zero to a hundred club transformation so this is what the look is like at the end if you guys want to see how i turned myself from this to this then keep on watching this video and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and also i've got a lot of discount codes in the description so go and shop and use those codes to save you guys some dollar bills the ones that i do earn commission i have put a little disclaimer next to it so i'm not going to you know like lie that i don't earn commission it does say next to them which ones i earn commission from so without any further overdo let's just jump straight into this transformation <laughs> So I'm obviously going to be using like super full coverage, I'm going to go all in with the brows, hectic eyes and everything like that. I'm not really going to make this a makeup tutorial, I'm just going to kind of speed through it and then I'm also going to do my hair at the end of this. So we're going to do makeup, hair and then clothing. So I'm first just going to be using this rose water toner from Diskem, I really love this. And I'm just going to wipe this all over my skin and I'm going to be using this Essence um, eyebrow designer in O2 Brown. When I first started out with makeup, this was like my go-to eyebrow pencil. And honestly, I still love it. It's very easy to use. And for 30 buck pencil, I think it's so worth it. I'm just drinking Med Lemon. I had bronchitis earlier in the year. I think it was a month ago. I had bronchitis. And honestly, it was like the worst experience of my life. Like I've never coughed so much like I felt like as if I'd smoked for 50 years like you know when like people's voices change they smoke so much and also like they start laughing and then their laughs turn into coughs like that's how my life was and I'm not even a smoker so <laughs> it was terrible and I literally feel like I've never recovered from that bronchitis and it really sucks so bad I've constantly been sick I don't know if it's nowadays I feel like it's so hard to fight the flu and I don't know what it is okay I'm gonna quickly just spray my face with this glam glow glow setter And I'm going to be using a foundation that I haven't used on my channel. Okay, before anyone says this is too dark for me, I know it's too dark for me. But I'm going to use it anyways because I haven't used this on my channel. And I feel like if I use the same foundations over and over, there's no point. And I really like this foundation, so I'm going to be using it. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've got it in Desert Beige. I bought this in summer, so that is why it is so dark. But it really is a flippin' good foundation and I'm just gonna lighten it up with a really light concealer to kind of counteract the darkness. So I'm just gonna apply this onto my face. This does smell like paint, but honestly, it really is a nice foundation. It like blurs your skin. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline Matte and Poreless and I really love that foundation as well. So as you can tell, it's quite dark. And then I'm just going to take my light concealer. This is the Fit Me by Maybelline in 15. And I'm just going to like add this in between. <laughs> I don't do this often, but let's see if it works. So I'm just going to take a blending brush like this and I'm going to blend this into my skin. I got this need for you. Can you see what a gorgeous foundation this is? Like it really, it's a really nice foundation if you can <laughs> get the correct shade. It's worth it. The other day I got a nice comment on my Instagram of someone roasting that I like my foundation darker. And guys, honestly, leave people to decide what color they want to wear their foundation. Like if it makes them happy, let us wear our foundation darker. And you know, let's just let people be. It's 2019, like let people do what they want to stop being a hater. And I'm so sorry that my hands can't change color, first of all, because Anyways, you can't tan this part of your hand. You'll just look like the Oros man. Can you see what I mean? This foundation is just so stunning. It's so stunning. I feel like it's so underrated. Not a lot of people talk about this foundation and it really needs to be talked about. And it's affordable. It's like a hundred bucks. You get 30 mils of foundation. So the huge. Maybe I should just continue with the photo focus range. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And I'm just going to put this under my eyes. Okay, whoa, this is light. It looks a lot lighter on the camera though than it does in real life, like I just want to say. Might as well do the nose as well. 
we're just going for that highlighted look <laughs> i hope this doesn't fail i'm gonna use the same brush though so that i can um you know use the foundation that's left over on here to just help this situation everything looks so much more intense on camera you know i'm just saying like if you want to find a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape in South Africa, guys, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer is like the drugstore version of Shape Tape. Honestly, like it feels exactly the same. It's like super drying and super sticky. Not sticky, like very thick. You know what I mean? Like Shape Tape is flippin' thick. You struggle to blend it out if you let it dry too much. So it's really like a dupe for Shape Tape. And it's also super affordable, so it's worth it. Okay, so that didn't turn out as bad as what I thought. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, the Photo Focus Foundation, just for those wondering, it is a matte foundation. It's not um, a hydrating foundation, so you do have to hydrate your skin really well before applying it. Can you see how good this foundation is? It's literally blurred and covered all of my breakouts so well. Can you see that? Like, it's actually insane. Well, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette, and then I'm also just gonna go into this orange shade of here it's called coral punch and this is going to be my
Okay, so the hair is quite oily, but I do have dry shampoo, so we're gonna sort that out. Okay, so I'm gonna clip half my hair up. I've got very short hair, but I've also got very thick hair, so it does take quite a while to curl. So I don't really have a technique to this. I kind of just curl it like this. I never used to be able to curl my hair with a curling iron, but now, I mean with a straightener, but now I'm like a professional. Really not professional. I'm not going to curl the back of my head. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. So I'm going to take it like this. Curl it backwards. Oh damn, it was she. It was she. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, my hair actually looks good. What the hell? I'm actually like professional. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with some dry shampoo. So I'm just gonna spray this on the top. See how it just like totally mattified my roots. Gold. So now I'm going to change my top and then we're going to do the after video. I've just changed my top to one of these like off the shoulder kind of vibes. And I think I'm just going to add a necklace as an accessory. I'm going to grab my setting spray again and I'm just going to spray my chest. And then I'm going to grab this giant gosh highlighter and I'm going to put this all over the body. Check how big this highlighter is. I just want to add some of this. I'm not sure if you guys have ever used this. This Miracle Solid Oil from The Body Shop. It's the, well like your body and your hair and it's like this hard oil. And then if you rub into it, it kind of like comes on. And it just gives your body this gorgeous glow. And it smells good. Okay guys, so this is the completed 0 to 100 transformation. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!